Welcome back LHS, I'm Eddie Monfort and today is Wednesday, January 27th and this is your Blue Devil News. Yearbooks and senior ads are still on sale. Yearbooks are $80 until March 1st and the final deadline for senior ads is Sunday, January 30th. Yearbooks can be purchased at yearbookforever.com or the LHS website. However, yearbooks can only be purchased at yearbookforever.com. Any senior who has not had their senior portrait taken yet may do so through Loveless Photography until next Monday, January 31st. Criminal justice students registering for senior year who would like to take the job shadow practicum course next year need to see Mr. Lakeman for guidance to pick up an application. Turn in completed application to C-302. The snowball will take place on February 5th from 6 to 9 p.m. Tickets will be $15 and sold at the back of the cafeteria next week starting next Monday, January 31st, and the attire is semi-casual. Seniors will be voting during Focus tomorrow for senior superlatives. You must be present in your Focus class to vote. Prom will be held on April 29th at the Mill for juniors and seniors. Tickets are on sale at the bank and online. Tickets are $55 each until February 28th. Beginning in March, tickets will be $65 each and $75 in April. Take advantage of the discounted rate and buy your tickets now. Order for senior t-shirts will begin today during lunch at the bank. The cost for t-shirts will be $20 for sizes small through extra large and $22 for sizes 2XL and larger. Senior night will be Friday, April 15th at 7 p.m. in the auditorium. The Lebanon High School eSports team is holding tryouts for spring 2022 seasons of Rocket League and Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. See Mr. Holmes in A105 for details. The season starts soon. Spanish Club meeting is today after school in B308. Student Council will meet after school today in the library to discuss more information about the snowball. The National Honor Society will be collecting pop tabs until February 28th to support the Ronald McDonald House. If you have any pop tabs from a kickstart, give them to an NHS member. The Wilson County Schools Art Show at the First Museum Downtown Nashville started this Saturday and runs through February 6th. All the schools in the district are represented. Both Mr. Clement and Ms. Peterson have student work displayed from all their art classes from last semester. Anyone under 18 can visit the Frisk Museum for free. Adult admissions and parking are extra. The Frisk Museum is open Thursday through Saturday, 10 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. and Sunday, 1 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. We'll be back after these segments. Coach Maxwell, just wanted to let everybody know track season is right around the corners. I am looking for male and female shot putters, discus, javelin, hammer. It's an easy scholarship. Come out, learn something new, get in shape. And let's see what happens. Come see me. Coach Maxwell, room A304. With nearly a week left until the 56th Super Bowl, four teams prepare to undergo one final elimination round. The four teams left in the playoffs are the Chiefs, the Rams, the Bengals, and the 49ers. This is a big year for Chiefs fans as they are the favored team to win. However, they must first face the Bengals to secure a spot in the big game. The Chiefs have been said to have the best offensive mind in the game, being the fourth highest scoring offense. However, their weak defensive game has allowed in the last two seasons more total points and yards per game, which is a disability that could be exploited by the Cincinnati Bengals. In opposition to the Chiefs' defensive struggles, the Bengals have had a deep defensive line. The Bengals quarterback, Joe Burrow, has taken his team from average to a Super Bowl contender. No matter how good the quarterback is, though, the weak offensive line that allowed nine sacks against the Tennessee Titans could prove to be what cost them the game. Of course, the 49ers and Rams game cannot be overlooked. The Rams, who are the favorites of this game, have the advantage of Aaron Donald, who is one of the greater defensive linemen in the league with 88.5 career sacks. Their quarterback, Matthew Stafford, who previous to this year played for the Detroit Lions, has a strong and accurate arm. However, he has never won in the playoffs till this year. The Rams do not have great consistency, though, which can be fatal in the playoffs. The 49ers have beaten the Rams for six consecutive games. 
The 49ers' run game is strong and always in attack mode with purposeful motion and movement. However, they are short-staffed on wide receivers, making their offense a little more predictable. Also, many of their players, including the quarterback, have been injured this season, which could be considered a disadvantage. Overall, these games bode to be very interesting with each team fighting to win it all. That's all I have for you guys today. I'm Macy Baker, and I'll see you guys next week. Seniors, your senior fee is $75 and is due by March 1st. You can pay at the bank or online. If this is your first time using School Cash Online, you will have to register before you can use the app. You can also submit your height, weight, and the correct spelling of your first, middle, and last name by scanning this QR code or going to the link below. Deadline to complete the FAFSA and watch the TN Promise video is February 1st. Registration for classes start this week. Counselors will be coming into focus class to discuss course registration. The deadline for course requests for next year is Friday, February 18th. Names and orders are currently being taken for HOSA graduation stoles. If you've had at least five health science classes or your HOSA state slash nationally affiliated with three courses or one course and a HOSA state competitor, you qualify. Cost is $25. Please see Ms. Tomlinson in room C304 now through mid-February. Vol State Medical Terminology Test is April 20th. If you have completed three or more health science classes and are a junior or a senior, you qualify to take the test. Please see Ms. Tomlinson in room C304 for more information. That's all the news we have today, LHS. Thank you for tuning in and supporting Blue Devil News. I'm Eddie Moffert, and this has been the news to you from the White and Blue.